Need to get an on-site or a virtual estimate? Yes, that is going to be your best way to do it. Um, you can do either or, an on-site or virtual, but what that does is that really gets the, the movers to know exactly what's being moved, but the estimator, it also gives them the exact weight of your items, which is how we price out the shipment. So if you're just calling in, or if, if there's a company, actually I just, funny story, um, a, a family member of mine, um, distant family member of mine picked a moving company, and after she had realized that I worked for a moving company, she was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I go with you? And I'm like, I don't know. But I'm like, who did you go with? And she gave me their name and it's Old Town Moving or Old Town Van Line. So um, one of the big red flags when you're looking at them is these brokers are going to try to use names of other legit companies, which is Van Line. Um, so I go researching on them and I'm like, hmm. Yep, no, this isn't a real company. So I do what I do, which is fun, and I call them up, and I act like I'm the customer. And I'm talking to the gentleman, and I'm like, hey, like I want to set up an estimate. I want, I want to do this move. And, and mind you, they're based out of Florida, and I told them I was moving from Ohio to North Carolina. And so and no affiliation between Ohio and North Carolina do they have, but they told me that they, they can do the move. So... Um, I started asking him questions, and one of the questions I asked him was, can I get an estimate? And he said, no, nope, just send me a list of items. And that is huge because if I skip an item or miss an item, I, you know, I've been living in my house for seven years, and there's things I walk past every single day, and I forget that it's even there. Right. Um, nor am I somebody who, who knows the weight of shipments or knows the weight of the items as just a normal customer. Um, so you're walking around your house and you're given these list of items they they have no idea the size you call it a dresser but is it a double dresser a single dresser a triple dresser all of those add weights or take weight away so who knows what he's putting it in as and then when it comes time for the move my, my weight's going to be off and then he's going to come back to me telling me that i need to pay all this extra money to be able to get my stuff because my weight was way over and so I kept digging at him. I'm like, oh, but I really prefer to have an estimate. I really want somebody to come out. Or I can even set up a Zoom link and try to get him to kind of like, you know, come up with or tell me if they can do that. And he's like, nope, we can't do that. You just have to send me a list. Well, and when I'm walking through my house as a customer, I don't know how many boxes it's going to take to pack my house. Right. That's not what I do for a living. That's not my job as a customer. That's the job of the moving company. So finding somebody who's not willing to do an estimate is is very, very bad, very bad. Um, it, it's not gonna give you an actual clear picture of the weight of your shipment. If you have somebody do a virtual estimate or an on-site estimate, you're gonna be able to get that clear picture. They're gonna have actual physical eyes looking at each object. So when they're putting it into the system, they're gonna say whether that dresser was a single dresser, a double dresser, or a triple dresser. So therefore, it, it takes the accurate weight into account. Perfect, makes perfect sense.